So you're still on Windows 10, huh? Don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, I'm filming this on a Windows 10 desktop right now. But with Windows 11 here to stay, let's talk about how to make the leap safely. Or you might just wanna hang back a little longer depending on your situation. Now, first things first, make sure your computer can actually handle that Windows 11 upgrade. Microsoft has this thing called the hardware compatibility list. And it translates to basically your PC needs to be kind of new or new enough, smart enough. And yes, TPM is a big thing. So if you don't have that TPM, you might not get to join the party. Once you know you're eligible, make sure you back your data up. This is huge. It's a simple safety net, but most of the time it could save you from disaster, right? You might not need it, but let's go ahead and back your data up just in case you do, in case things go sideways. But let's say you're not ready to move yet. That's no problem either. You can now extend Windows 10 with the ESU or extended security updates. That'll give you another year for 30 bucks. It's basically like hitting the snooze button on that upgrade alarm clock. And if this all sounds way too stressful or complicated, that's where we come in. We're My Computer Works and we can help you move to Windows 11 or find a computer that's already running it that would be just right for you. So if you need help with that, reach out to us via the number at the beginning, into the video and down in the description. We'd be happy to help. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe so I can see you on the next one.